forts, footprints, and even new friends. The remnants of students enjoying the snow in Elon. Some played. Others had to get to work. People was coming in, you know, more than where they'd been going to Colony. They was coming here to get something to eat. And it's sort of hectic the first thing this morning. We just have all our whole landscape and staff out and about instead of athletics who normally just deals with the fields we're all together today. Dean Moyes has been up since early this morning delivering food. I got about a quarter to two. <laughs> about 10 minutes to, to three I was on the road headed to Raleigh to pick up my truck. Moyes drove more than 100 miles on the slick roads and today was busier than most. Another fella he was out and some of his stops were closed so we got to get on his truck and go deliver it in. <laughs> move some of the stuff around because it's been hectic today. <laughs> While a day off from classes meant many students got to sleep in, some people who work here at Elon had to be in before many students went to bed. Some people came in and they stayed all night. They uh, came in at 11 last night and stayed all night. Members of the landscaping department plowed parking lots and roads and are now getting ready for tonight. There will be some re-thawing or thawing out and refreezing tonight. So we will come in at 5 a.m. to put down another application of ice melt. Even with the long hours when many have the day off, these Elon employees are glad to do their part. Our responsibility is to make sure that the student can get from their apartment to wherever they need to go, whether the school's open or closed. Just another day. Monica Yantosh, Phoenix 14 News, tonight.